Hey guys, Demolisher134 here, and today we are taking a look at Transformers Age of Extinction Voyager Class Galvatron. Now, as of yet, we really don't know anything about this character and what he's going to be in Age of Extinction. Um, the bio for the actual toy is very, very vague, and you really don't get an idea of what this guy's about. Um, but all I know is that this is Galvatron's new look in Age of Extinction, and I really like it. I think this alt mode really does work. I think the colours look awesome. Um, he is a uh, different shade of grey in the movie. I think he's more close to black, actually. Um, but we'll see. I actually can't remember. Um, but great alt mode. I really do like this. It really would just work for the toy. Um, my only problem with this vehicle mode is uh, the fact that it is a little bit on the small side. Um, but honestly... I can overlook that because I really do like this. I honestly did not expect to like this toy as much as I do, but I really do like it. It's probably one of my favourites from the Age of Extinction lineup so far. Um, so yeah, what do we have in the vehicle? We've got some nice paint apps, um, black, silvers, got a little bit of blue on there. Um, it's got some translucent black windows. On the uh, wheels here, we've got no real paint apps there. They're just black, but they have been moulded fairly nicely. We've got the rivets in there and the bolts. Um, Molded detailing on this guy is pretty damn good, I will say. Um, paint detailing is lacking just a little bit, but it's nothing too major. Um, another slight gripe I have with the figure is the fact that you can't peg anything into the trailer hitch here, which kind of sucks. Um, he does come with a weapon. Um, he comes with this little cannon here, which you can actually... The only way to store it in the vehicle mode is to peg it onto the top of the truck here. Um, and to me, that looks a little bit silly. I would have liked it if you could actually peg it down here just so it's out of the way and it's not sort of on the roof. Um, but no, you can't peg anything onto that trailer hitch, um, which kind of sucks, but never mind. But as for the actual vehicle mode itself, I really do like it. I think it looks awesome. Uh, I can't wait to see it in the movie. Uh, so let's get him transformed, shall we? Now, Galvatron is a shell former. There's no getting around it. He is an absolute shell former. But the way the whole transformation has been executed just makes me forgive the whole thing because it's really clever how, they actually, how this guy actually transforms. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is take these panels and just fold these off to the side here. Like so. Now, these will be his legs, obviously, and they do actually peg together uh, for the vehicle mode, but the tab is so weak, um, they may as well have just not bothered. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Uh, next thing you want to do is we're going to take these wheel pieces here, unpeg them, flip them up, do the same thing on the other side, just flip these pieces up like that. Make sure you don't pull it from the wheel because the wheel will pop off. Uh, if you're going to pull it out, pull it out from the uh, actual plastic bit. Um, so just flip those up, then we can take this entire section, fold it back like so, bend this in ever so slightly, and then we can just uh, fetch the arms out here, rotate these out. Now there, this is what um, I really like about it. I mean, you can see where the shell form thing is coming from. What you have to do is just sort of unpeg this entire section here, and it will just collapse on itself. And I really like that the way that actually works. Um, it, I don't know, it's, it's kind of cool to me. I, just, I really like it. Um, so fold that down. Then we can take the actual uh, cab section here, flip that up, and that will actually peg into two little tabs just here. That will peg in, that will lock the backpack together. Uh, then what we want to do, take the head here, just come around here and flip that up. It's kind of a pain. Uh, the joint on mine is really stiff. And I've just popped the damn thing off the ball joint. Um, you see what I mean about the the, uh, the joint being really stiff? Uh, to get it tabbed in, it's really kind of a pain. Uh, next thing you want to do is it just rotate the backpack up. Fold the arms down, like so. Rotate the legs around just like that, and flip out his feet. And ladies and gentlemen, there is Galvatron in his robot mode, and he's not in frame. Now, Galvatron's robot mode, despite being a complete shell former and having the entire truck cab on his, on his back there, um, he is actually quite good. I do like him. When I first saw pictures of this guy before having him, um, I absolutely hated him. I think the, I thought the design looked silly. Um, the fact that they were literally... His robot mode is all one piece. It doesn't transform at all. This chest piece is just all moulded. Um, I thought it looked dumb. I really didn't like it. I thought it looked like a completely different toy and it didn't even look like a transformer. Um, but... 
I retract that statement because I actually really do like him now. Um, in fact, surprisingly, he is one of my favourites in the Age of Extinction lineup so far. Um, I like him more than Voyager Class Grimlock, which is very, very surprising. Um, so in terms of paint apps, he is lacking a little bit, but he does have uh, plenty. Um, he could use a few more though. He's got some nice blue pipes on his chest here and on the um, sort of ab section. More blue paint apps, just to, uh, scattered around the uh, robot mode. We have some gold plastic, and that does make me concerned because uh, gold plastic is renowned for um, breaking. So <laughs> I, I do worry about that. We've got some nice gold paint apps in the little chest hole there. He's got a little gypsy danger hole. Um, so, you know, whatever that will be for in the movie, I do not know. Um, head sculpt is pretty damn cool. Definitely could use more paint apps, though. That is the one major gripe I do have about the robot mode. Uh, the head sculpt definitely needs some more paint apps. Uh, he's got some nice red eyes in there and a little bit of blue on the forehead. But other than that, there's absolutely nothing in there in terms of paint. I mean, on the actual box here, I'll show that off. Um, the head sculpt is really, really cool looking. Um, I just think it could have used a little more grey um, around the mouth section on the toy, just like it was on the box. Um, but there we go. Articulation is actually pretty good all round. We've got a ball jointed head, got ratchet joints up here at the shoulder. Can bend at the sort of upper elbow and bend out the elbow on a bit of a ratchet joint. Uh, no waist articulation, but that's to be expected with all the uh, kibble on the back and the moulded piece. Um, Got a joint up here, ratchet joint, really nice clicky joint as well. Can bend in and out, thigh rotation, bend at the knee, and the feet can move up and down. They can also move left and right, so you can pose them in some different ways. Um, so, all round, great articulation. As for the weapon, um, I showed this off earlier, but there is the cannon. You can actually uh, peg this into his hand. And you can hold that. Um, as of yet, I don't think there is anywhere to actually store the weapon. Oh, yeah, you can put it on that little hole there. Um, but that's the only uh, way you're going to store that in robot mode. So you can either have him hold it or put it on his back. Um, pretty good weapon. It definitely could use a little bit of paint, even if it was just some of the blue on the pipes here, just to match the uh, the chest. Um, that would have been really cool, but uh, no, we didn't get that. Does fire a nice blue missile, though. Barely. <laughs> See, this is actually a Springfire one. It doesn't work. Really? That's just embarrassing. It... That's that's crap. Overall, Galvatron is really one of those figures that you actually have to experience for yourself. Um, pictures and reviews of this guy do not do him any sort of justice. And he is actually a really good toy. Um, he's a lot of fun to mess around with. I think kids are going to love this guy because he's easy to transform. And the transformation is actually quite gimmicky with the uh, sliding cab. Um... So it is, it's a very cool toy, I really like the way it's been designed, I think even though it is a shell former, I think it works, it's one of the few shell formers that I actually really do like, um, and it's, it looks great to be honest, I really do like it. But that is it for the review, I hope you enjoyed it, if you want to see more Age of Extinction toy reviews, please subscribe to my channel, leave a like, comment, I really like reading the comments, um, and I will see you next time, take care guys.